What's up guys? It's Ricardo, junkguysdfw.net at the headquarters here in the Dallas area. Uh, today is what's inside our trucks and what kind of equipment do we carry in our trucks? What do you really need and what do you want to spend money on? So here's a secret and I'm going to tell you how much money is into these trucks right here in just equipment, okay? <sighs> Less than $20. Because see, most of the stuff that's inside these trucks were found at junk removals. But if you don't believe it, well, let's take a look at it ourselves because uh, that's what I want to show you. Which equipment are you going to use more in junk removal during your journey, during your whole experience of doing house cleanouts and garage cleanouts or hot tub removals or removing a trampoline or taking a water heater out of a house or refrigerator removal? What are you going to use the most? And I'm going to explain that to you right now. So let's take a look at what's inside both these trucks. Uh, today, I actually have lined up uh, the F uh 350 that's a 6.4 350 and then i have the 2006 f550 lined up and i took some of the stuff out of them already but here's what i got this truck is a newer model truck we just got this one recently uh let's see what's inside of it of course i wanted to pull out the most important part is the dolly you'll always need a dolly uh to remove things and the furniture dolly is actually in the way so the furniture doll is actually called it considered a four-way but it's dug in there and i wasn't going to pull it out that's really important to use in junk removal uh, other than that here's some of the essentials that we have let me open this up uh, okay guys so you're going to look at some of the normal tools that we use on a daily basis uh, of course here is a whole uh tool set of wrenches and nuts and just a lot of stuff is in here uh, again he here's another ratchet set here there's a handle there's sockets and stuff every size socket uh flatheads phillips all that's in here so this is where i keep most of that stuff now if that tool is not here if the ratchet not here i move over to the other side uh here we have another ratchet set here we have two more ratchet sets now i got these from junk removals also um halfway full this one's all the way full um of course over here we have bungee cords we have straps you'll need those those are we use these like crazy so these are very important now down here as you move down here guys you're going to notice on the second level i have hammers look at look, look dudes what i got come on i got wrenches uh vices uh sledgehammer oh this is something you'll definitely need in your line of work sledgehammer a big hammer and then something really really important there it is you need to change out a flat tire uh or you need to you know fix a flat there it is we carry all the stuff for that in these trucks uh there's the other piece for it so uh, something to make the hole with and something to put the uh rubber uh you know spot on it um again we got gas cans down there we have a big gas can we have small gas can, a two gallon five gallon gas can over here uh you're gonna see i got starting fluid if we have problems with the truck which we haven't but we always have them and this is something really really important that we carry to almost every job is different uh types of hitches we have a short, uh, long hitch a short hitch and attached to it is a big hitch to it uh don't forget you'll need jacks anywhere you're going you're going to need a jack and we have two different kind of jacks if we're going to pull up the trailer or we're going to pull up i mean the trailer or we're going to pull up the truck we have an eight ton jack and a two ton jack there and then of course extension cords like crazy always in, in all my trucks i do tend to have a lot of gloves so we always have gloves in all our trucks so we just put them anywhere anytime we find them uh every truck usually has a blower on it and and a shovel so there's a shovel right there you can see it right here guys uh, a shovel and we uh, we equipped every track oh there it is with a push broom every truck has a push broom including chains right here chains just so in case something happens we we have chains on all the trucks so i just pulled this stuff out of this truck right now we're gonna, put it back in there, guys. we're gonna move on to the other uh, truck the f550 that's equipment out of all that equipment i'm gonna tell you what cost me the most and that was this right here uh these things right here i bought these at uh, o'reilly's just uh, about a week and a half ago when i got this truck and these cost me seven dollars and fifty cents so there you go uh the gas cans were actually free both gas cans they look new but all this stuff was free from junk removals i didn't spend any money on that and that's the way to do it to be honest with you okay we're gonna move over right now to the f550 what do i have in the f550 f550 is equipped with more things uh that i could tell you we have a whole drawer just for uh extension cords because this is the one that we put um again we put all the hot tubs in this truck in the back of course there's a dolly there's a floor dolly back there um we have a thing to uh, change the wheels out uh that one does too on the other door i didn't show you that part 
So a, a lug nut removal right there. We got tools right here. Uh, this is not all the tools we have. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. But again, remember I told you we carry hitches. We carry a two and a half inch, a two inch. And then the hitch that it usually carries is on the back of that truck. And that's a three way hitch that carries three. You could change it three ways. Uh, here we go again. Since this truck is different from other trucks, it can hook up to almost any trailer. So we got adapters for that too. Uh, um, check the, I love, love these little fasteners, these cables. Uh, ties, we use those like crazy. And here it is, the Hallinger. Probably the most popular tool that we have is the Hallinger right here. Godly, we use this tool forever. I wish I had more. These are actually four to $500 a piece. So we don't have a lot of those. Um, okay, so here we use this one a lot. This is to care, cut a, a lot of wire. That other truck doesn't have it. I didn't put one in that other truck yet, but I have one for that truck. Um, and then here's the come along right here. We have a come along for this truck right here. We don't have one for the other truck yet, but I will get one. Uh, right here, uh, that was from a junk removal. All this was from junk removal. A chain, like every truck has a chain on it. We carry chains on each truck just in case anything. And here's, what is this? Just some hand wipes, something like that. Oh, these, I carry these in every truck. These are for uh, sunscreen when it's hot outside. Uh, we put sunscreen on all the time. These uh, Texas summers, you don't really like. Trash bags, trash bags right here uh, on this truck. Now, again, let me show you another. This truck has a lot of straps. A lot of bungee cords, unlike the other truck, only had like uh, six of them. This one has like 10 or 12 bungee cords and, and stuff. Again, uh, to pull up the trailer, we have the, a car jack, and then we have a six ton jack to pull up this truck with the, the little thing to plug into that to pull it up. You know what I'm saying? It works. This one works really good. Really, really good. And again, this truck is equipped also with fat, you know, if you get a flat tire, gotta boost it up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta plug it up and we plug it in, uh, plug it up too. So there's that. That goes actually right about there. And then I have assortment of gloves here. We always keep gloves in this truck. Again, uh, let me show you something else. Igloo is equipped on this one. Not that truck yet. A push broom is right there. We keep that in the back of the truck. So it actually goes there. Uh, here's, again, ratchet sets. A lot of that stuff. All this stuff. Look at that. Uh, and then in here is the specialty. So everything, I think every truck has a specialty drawer. Check out my drawer. There's my specialty drawer. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of crap in here. There's flatheads, Phillips, old ones, new ones. I got all this stuff at Junk Removal, and we just come in here whenever we need something to really, um, you know, get any junk. And, you know, these are supposed to be in there. So this actually is actually that door right there. Uh, that's the assortment truck. All this stuff is used as a Junk Removal. Again, the only thing that I bought here was actually this thing. These were $7.50, just like the other ones were. Uh, so I spent a little over $14 equipping these trucks uh, with, well, equipment. To be honest with you uh both trucks actually have harbor freight cheap cheap saw saws in them okay they both have them they're on the other side uh I, I didn't show you the other side the other side we really don't have a lot of stuff on the other side we usually put everything on this side or that side of the truck so i just want to show you the minimizing things that we carry in each truck just so it can go now every morning we do check if we need equipment if we need anything if we're going to go do a um if we're going to go do a piano we need sledgehammers that's that's a given. So we always equipped every truck with a sledgehammer. But just to let you know, um, these are on the same side on the other side too. These doors are on the other side also, just like that truck over there has the same stuff on the other side, but it's equipped with other stuff. I mean, we keep everything in these trucks, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what kind of equipment we carry and what kind of equipment you're gonna need in junk removal. The most popular thing I'm gonna tell you that we use in junk removal is definitely the sledgehammer, the Hallinger, and the extension cords. We always use extension cords in this business. Uh, the bungees are used a lot also. So we, we are equipping these trucks with anything. If we gotta pick up a big trailer, we gotta pick up a small trailer, we gotta pick up a mini dumpster, they're equipped to do it and exchange the electrical on them and exchange the hitches so every truck has two to three hitches on it uh these are just the two that i had here so i want to show you both these two trucks really quick before i go to my next job all right guys so i hope you appreciate uh this video um you know if there's any questions about equipment that we use throughout the day uh you know hit me up let me know okay let me know uh, other than that this is some of the stuff that we use all the time um now I did not specify a few things, and that's like trash cans. 
all these trucks when we go do like a hoarder house we equip them with trash cans uh ladders if we're gonna go remove a satellite dish um we get special blades for the saw saw we might use a more powerful saw saw but for right now this is really what we use on a daily basis this is a daily basis uh job that that uh equipment that we use on a daily basis using these trucks okay that are in these trucks so guys if you're new to junk removal and don't know what to get don't worry don't go buy it because you know what you're gonna find it in a junk removal anyway all right there's under 20 dollars in stuff that i purchased and these are years and years of stuff that i picked up and you, you don't want to see what's inside this warehouse because i got so much more stuff in there okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget guys if you like these videos uh subscribe over there to the right side on the left side check out my other videos and stay tuned for more videos from me bye, -bye guys